<clears throat> hey hoes, how are you? All right, so we're going to call this kind of like my, um, you know, I, I think of this as my series of, okay, I'm doing these videos finally because I rarely do these videos. And what it is, these are popular videos that people always want to watch. So we're going to do some of these. So my hoes, we're going to talk about sexy fragrances. But we're going to start out, we're going to do a few, there's going to be a few of these videos because I couldn't just put all of them in one. And there's different levels to sexy. So this is our sweet, seductive, sensual perfumes so if you are interested would like to stay around to hear about my sweet sexy sensual perfumes don't go anywhere come on mouse quit playing <music> Normally when I do these little cut-ins, y'all know I'm about to like point my finger at you and tell you what to do. But today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to say thank you. Thank you, my whole squad, for always watching my videos. Thank you, my whole squad, for commenting and just being friends with me. Thank you, my whole squad, for the kind words that you say to me and the times that when I don't even think um, my videos are that good. You all surprise me and say, oh, I love it. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your day. I appreciate you. And I thank you again for, you know, being a part of the whole squad. And if you're not, why aren't you? I'm sorry. I just had to do that. All right. Thank you so much as always. Let's get into the video. All right. I'm going to start out with the classic because sometimes we forget about the classics. We, you know, we get all caught up in all this, you know, bells and whistles of the new things, but some things are just classics and just hold their own no matter what. And so the first one I'm going to talk about is this beauty right here, which is uh, Dior Addict. Now this is a classic vanilla, fruity vanilla, but I promise you you put this on you wear it when you are going out it has a little it has a, a sophistication about it but it is a sweet beautiful sexy fragrance and whomever you are out with is going to want to be closer to you want to give you the things you want this is this is i would love that big designer bag yes darling yes thank you so much for it. this is Sure, let's go on a trip to Bora Bora. That's the kind of stuff that Attic gets you. It gets you that classic stuff. All right, so that is Dior's Attic. All right, now let's go into a few beautiful, let's just hit all these beauties. I'm not going to go in any order, but let's just grab some and talk about them. Now, y'all know I love La Entre D. But this one is La Entre de Melissima. This is the orange blossom one, not the tuberose. So this is a beautiful, beautiful, sweet tu oh, tuberose. You see what I'm saying? This is a beautiful, sweet orange blossom. It is just, um, it projects out. It has this beautiful sweetness to it and just um, that will draw your lover to you you can be in a you can be in a room you know like if you all in a room in a party and you are wearing this he is going to smell you from across the room he is going to be coming towards you and saying uh, it's time for us to go it's time for us to go and you're gonna say okay and y'all gonna be gone now what y'all do when y'all leave that's up to y'all but i'm just saying y'all gonna leave i'm just saying all right now this is a gorgeous stunner these are all stunners this right here gets compliments has people drawn to you baby what are you wearing you smell so good let me take you out let me let me let me wine and dine you let me take you to that to that steakhouse because you look because you a steakhouse girl okay maybe some seafood okay you know or that perfect little vegan restaurant that you've always loved to go to this is nishane's hundred silent ways this is peachy vanilla tuberose 
peachy vanilla tuberose and it's honey honey you will turn heads you will be the sweetest most sophisticated most sex se i'm not gonna say sexual most sensual person in the room this is a very alluring scent you it it now i am an oversprayer but it projects out and it is just you know you just like a cloud of deliciousness when you're wearing nishane's hundred size ways <clears throat> Now, let's go with this one. This is a classic, too, with a twist. So, this is Angel EDT. I have the comment version. I don't have the 2019 version, but I love this. And um, I was an original angel girl. Let me just be real with y'all. I was an original angel girl. I wore that diva of a fragrance for years. When it first came out, I bought it. I loved it. I was big on... Whew, I was a big hair 90s chick with my fragrances. I am not even going to lie. 80s and 90s, I got I poisoned the original. Oh, yes. Obsession, yes. Angel, yes. Now, I cannot wear Angel now. But I love this one because it still has the, that patchouli, that vanilla. But what it has, it has this brightness with some berries in it, which gives it a lighter, brighter, but it's still delicious. It still has that very sensual very uh, very enticing vibe of angel it is it is a classic vibe it is a classic scent but it is still very provocative in its way so that is angels um this is angel edt the comet version plus i like the you know just the whole vibe of the bottle i should do my pretty bottles <laughs> you know that'll be one of them all right so now folks are talking about this and then i don't see nobody talking about it anymore i don't you you know y'all some fickle folks see this is why i keep my fragrances so uh, for you fickle for the new people who don't know about it and you fickle folks i can remind you pull some shit out okay dolce and gabbana the only one intense just just let's just mm. that coconut that jasmine that orange uh, this is so this this is a classic sexy sensual vibe trust me you wear this and you will stop traffic you will have people turning their heads towards you you will they will be like what are you wearing every time i wear this you know if i'm out and about i do get a little tension I get a little attention, y'all. I do. I do. And so, you know, because it is just this, just deep, sweet, just delicious, just smells like somebody could eat you up kind of vibe. I'm telling you, these are the ones that will get you the, the, the trips. These are the ones that will get you the gifts. These are the ones that will get you the baby. Hold up. No, you... If you, these are the ones that will have them remembering you when you are gone, when you are not in their presence, they will be remembering your scent and thinking about, I need this woman in my life. Okay. The only one intense. That was real dramatic, real dramatic. All right. <clears throat> now this, this is girl, Eli Saab's girl of now shine, right? Where's the, where's it say? Right there, right? Now you can do Girl of Now or Girl of Now Shine. Very similar, of course. Girl of Now is a little more thicker, a little a little more syrupy, where this has a little brightness from the pineapple, but it is a sweet orange blossom with, with a nuttiness to it from the almond and this pistachio. But it is gorgeous, and I promise you men love this scent. Men love love this scent um my son when i had him test out my fragrances the girl of nows were his top ones like yeah my that, that's what i want to see a woman smell like so i'm just telling you you around 30 year olds you 30 around around 30 year olds mm -hmm. i'm telling you the fellas love this scent it is so um just inviting and just a very just uh, he was, 
very seductive fragrance in its sweetness. So that is Girl of Now Shine. That's the one I have. This right here. This is Pearlescent Parfums Midnight Jasmine. This is a plum dessert. It's, <laughs> if you know Rosé All Day from Gallagher, because Pearlescent Parfums is the sister company, the well, the wife's company. This is um, Rosé All Day, but with a, uh, with a more um, prominent plum note. So, there's no apple. There's no apple, and you get a. And as it dries down, you get the jasmine. So this is a sweet, seductive. And I have a lot of plum fragrances, but I will say this is the most, the sweetest, the most feminine leaning. Like other ones, I have with leather and things. This is just, and and actually, this is kind of more unisex because a man could wear this too, but it does have this very feminine vibe to it where it's just this juicy, just cooked plum dessert with spices and sweetness and just very suggestive and slightly erotic. So this is Pearlescent Perfumes Midnight Jazz. Now talking about orange blossoms, we know the Love Be Shy is a beautiful, sexy um, orange blossom. This is 19 Nobio 1942's Perdizione very similar but it has a little brightness to it so it's more it leans more on the orange blossom not as marshmallowy but it is still the sweet seductive vibe so if you love orange blossoms if you kind of like love don't be shy you want the sexiness of it but it's a little too sweet that marshmallow is too sweet go with Nobio 1942's Perdizione now these two right here oh let's talk about this one let's talk about plums earlier let's talk about this one this is tobacco and tonka bean now this is unisex everybody wears it this is plum this is coconut it has a little um smokiness from the tobacco tonka bean it is just um you know i love this stuff right i have been talking about it it is very sophisticated it has gone up in price um, so it's hard to find it at the price I pay for because they asking too much for it because now it's popular. But this is such a delicious, plummy, coconutty, smoky vibe. It is very elegant. It is very, um, very, how oh, was the one? It's kind of suggestive. You know, it suggests things. It says, hello, how are you? It says, you know you want to be near to me. You know you want to snuggle in my neck and smell this beautiful fragrance. You know you want to whisper in my ear. You know you want to nibble on my ear. You know that you want to tell me the things you want to do to me that I might let you do. All right, and that is Banana Republic's Tobacco and Tonka Bean. I got a little, got a little, got a little spicy on that one, didn't I? All right, then we have this. This is Scandal by Night by Gautier. I have a small one of it because at the time that I bought it, it was hard to get. This is cherry and honey and orange blossom and just mm, mm, mm. the longer I've had it, the more the cherry comes out. So if you've had, if, if you get it right away and you don't get that cherry note as, as prominently, Give it some time and the cherry's going to come out and be just gorgeous. But yeah, this is a rich, deep, honeyed cherry. Oh, it is so seductive. It This is one of those things that you are wearing your little black dress. You are about that slightly, you're, you're doing this elegant yet sex sexy vibe i always want to say sexual i'm sorry y'all we're not gonna say sex we're gonna say sexy vibe so it's a little black dress sexy vibe with a very elegant sophisticated twist to it so that is scandal at night by gautier now of course gotta have some vanillas we got some vanillas going on you gotta have this vanilla this is alien essence absolute i do have more of this i ain't even gonna lie but this is a stunning you know this is the alien 
DNA with that vanilla added into it. It's just rich, it's deep, it's dark, and it's as dark as this juice in it. And it is gorgeous. I ain't even gonna lie. I heard about it. I blind bought it because I found it at a good deal. And I was so happy to have it. But yeah, it's give it gives you that vibe, that alien jasmine vibe, but it's got the, the vanilla in it. It is very it is not it is um kind of come hither as I would say, because I won't, don't want to say flirtatious, but it's come hither because it draws people to you. It's that come hither vibe where you're just sitting there at the bar, just minding your own business. And you know that people are just going to come to you, come hither vibe. Then we have this, this is alien. This is what alien? No, this is Nina Ritchie. The Extas Rose Absolute. This is the black bottles. There's all of them, and I have done um I've done a whole comparison of all of them on the main channel, Lulu. But this honestly is my favorite. I know other people like like Extas, they like Rose Extas and everything. I like them all, but I like this one because it is the jammy rose. It is the sweet jammy rose that just is. I was in Tiffany's and I saw this darling little bracelet I wanted. That is what Lag Stas Rose Absolute is. It is dinner and suggestions of, you know, how to make you happy. So that is Lag Stas Rose Absolute. And let me just say this. And while they're making you happy, make sure you make them happy on all levels too. Don't be stingy. All right. And then we have this right here. This is Victor and Ross Dancing Roses. This is a boozy cherry rose. Talked about this recently. This is a boozy cherry rose. Mm -mm, mm -mm. She provocative. She's a stunner. She's an icon. She's all that. That is what <laughs> Victor and Ross Dancing Roses is. And as always, these are just things that will, you know, your lover, your date, you know, will definitely, this will linger in their olfactory senses. So that is there, that one. Then we have this right here. Gave you a oud, but this is Amarud's uh, Golden Oud, right? Golden Oud. I had to remember the name, Jeff. This is a caramel oud. It's not a rose oud. It's a caramel oud, right? And it is the most well-blended not skanky, beautiful, just delicious caramel oud you will ever have. And that's what it is. You got the oud in there, so it gives this kind of um, definite sophistication to it. So it's not so much because the caramel is rich and it just feels like somebody just like, because I make car I used to make caramel. It smells like the caramel that right when you, um, when you make it and it's still warm and hot, it has that rich, deep caramel vibe but because it has the oud the oud balances it out so it's not so sickeningly sweet it gives it some depth which then makes it a much more wearable just something that somebody could be around you and be like dang you smell delicious and that is golden oud by amaru now, of course, I'm not, I'm going to throw this out here because we all talking about, we all loving it. And yes, it is that chick, like Angel Share. This is Kamra by Latafa. That's all I'm going to say. Kamra by Latafa. We've been talking about it. I've been talking about it. Everybody's been talking about it. Kamra by Latafa. That's all I'm going to say. This, you need this. You're going to need this. You're going to need this. Go and get it. Go and get it. Go and get it. And then I think this is the last one. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Hold on. No, I'm going to give one more. So let's talk about this one first. Now, this is hard to come by. But if you get it, if you see it, or if you have it, just tell me if you, I'm not lying about it. This is by Ganache, which is Ganache is, you know, going back and forth and i saw it recently on there this is freakum dress it was in a different bottle this is freakum dress by ganache perfumes now this is a cherry this is a cherry let me tell you what it is that's why it's in this video this is 
the cherry from like if you've ever used the cherry the cherry scented lotion to like you know okay you know the to blow on that gets hot you know what i'm talking about i can't the the sex lotion i'm just let's just put it out there the cherry sex lotion right this is what it smells like so it vibes like that <laughs> Don't ask me. Y'all know how I know about it. So before somebody say, how do you know about that? Why do you say it like that? Trust me, because I got a lot of good use out of that stuff over the years. Anyway, that is what this smells like. But you can't use too much of it because you make yourself sick. Just a talk. But it, okay. But anyway, it has that cherry, like, you know, that edible um, panty cherry smell. You know, that candy cherry smell. Freak them dress. He says it wasn't his intention, but I'm just telling you that's what it smells like. And I almost did this whole video without pulling out a man, Sarah. And this, of course, is Rose's Vanille. If you know this fragrance, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. This is just, oh, excuse me. There's a, on the top, there's a little, um, brightness to the rose almost like a um a, a, a what do I want to say a citrusy vibe to it but this is a sweet rose it is the epitome you know one of those beautiful sweet roses that you can always wear this projects out it turns heads it you know your wear this all the time when you listen these are the fragrances that you wear when you're trying to get what you want when you are like this man, this, my lover needs to commit to me. Th that's what they need to do. They need to commit to me. These are the, com these, these are the things that make folks want to commit to you to, like I said, give you, give you, you know, presents, take you on trips, take you out to dinner, you know, have you meeting family. These are the th things they're sexy and seductive and sweet. You know, sweet. And that is what Rose's Vanille is. It is a sweet, jammy rose that will get everybody coming for you. And I did forget one. Here we go. Let me give you this one. I got a lot of orange blossom here. This is Roberto Cavalli's Deep Desire. If you can find it, go ahead and get it. Um, it is a it is a orange blossom with cacao, so it's got this chocolatey nuances to it that make it um, quite... A little bit different than the other orange blossoms I have because like I said it has this very sophisticated orange blossom and chocolatey you know chocolatey vibe um, makes it quite sensual it is it's one of those things that not a lot of people talk about so here's the deal these fragrances your your lover probably have not heard smelled anybody wearing them because you know we're doing it like that we s-o-t-h stunt on them hoes and these, this right here, this beautiful red bottle is just delicious and intoxicating and just a very alluring scent that will um, just have your lover just thinking about you and wanting to be close and, you know, having them go, yeah, I, 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 I see what you, I see where you're going and I want to go there with you. All right. So that is. Deep Desire by Roberto Cavalli. All right, so that is it for my um, sweet, sexy, sensual perfumes. I hope I've, you got you found some new ones. Uh, let me know what your sweet, sexy, sensual perfumes are. I might need to add them to my collection. And as always, <clears throat> be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Talk to you later.